Hello and welcome to 101 Ideas for Minecraft Learners. In this episode, we're looking at something called MC Edit. I'm calling this episode the magic of MC Edit. And MC Edit is basically a Minecraft world editor. And we're going to see, well, I'm going to be doing lots more about MC Edit uh, during lots more of these 101 ideas. So do stay tuned. In this one, I'm going to kind of be basically giving you a basic overview of what it's capable of and showing you some of the kind of tricks of the trade, if you like. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create, I'm going to create a new world because with this, this world, we're going to be able to cut, copy and paste things or begin to move things about. We're going to be creating different things with it as well. So let's create a new world and I'm going to call this uh, originally MC Edit, <laughs> MC Edit world okay uh, game mode survival let's let's make it creative just uh, just be on the safe side and just create a new world what I'm basically doing is I need to sp build a world make sure the terrain's loaded have a little wonder about in it to make sure that the whole thing's loaded so when I do go into MC edit wow okay uh, it's got something to play with so as you can see it's loading in the background the chunks are loading it has spawned. There's some cows up there, um, and it will give you an idea about uh, about what this does as well. So there we go. It's kind of a mountainous world. We've got uh, some water down there. We've got some pigs. We've got some cows. Yeah. Oh, and a little bit of a jungle appearing in the distance. So that should do it. Let's land. Let's land myself next to these pigs. I'll give them a surprise. Hey, boo. No, nothing. They're totally used to that happening. Okay, so uh, let's stop. Let's stop there. Save and quit, and quit game. MC Edit is free to download and can be downloaded for Windows, Apple, and Linux uh, from the website, uh, which is mcedit.net. Okay, so here's MC Edit, and uh, the version I've got is 1.7.1. Uh, uh, there may be another new one coming out. Um, it's reasonably well updated. And what, when we've got some options straight away, we've got create a new world, we've got load a world, we've got uh, open a level, and we've got recent uh, projects I've had open, if you like. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to load a world. If you ha if your world is loaded within the Minecraft folder, so the, you know, for example, if you've had it within your own game, then this will open up the Minecraft folder. If it's if it's a folder that's on your desktop or somewhere else, you can actually open a level, um, and this is also useful if you're using. Uh, you can actually open up Minecraft Pocket Edition worlds, and I'll show you be showing you how to do that in another um, uh, 101 idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to load load the world. There it is. It's the first one, MC Edit World, and we'll load that in. And it's where I ended. Let's just move back from there. So there's my there there is me, my player character, looking down on the world. And these red blocks that you can see here were the cows and pigs. They are entities, and we can kind of see the world as it was represented. It's a little bit different visually. Than, uh, than how Minecraft represents itself. And of course we can fly our way through it and kind of can actually see underground. It looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Let's pull back. Now the way to navigate in this world is I'm actually right clicking and I can right click and drag my mouse around like this. To move forward I press the W key and to go backwards I press the S key and I can strafe left and right with A and D. Okay. Um, the reason it's different is because, um, well, if I wanted to go down, I could look down and then press W to go down. So you go, move forward in the direction that you're pointing in. And that's the bit that's different. If I wanted to move up and down on the, like the Y axis, I can press Q to move up or Z to move me down. So there are some new keyboard commands that at first feel a bit clunky and feel a bit weird, but you'll understand why, because we need our left mouse button to select different things. Um, so let's let's get started, let's do something. Um, I'll tell you what, let's take the top of this mountain off. So what we're going to do, we're going to learn how to make a selection in MC Edit. Uh, and the way to do that is, you, you can see we've got this kind of cursor, this white cube 
floating around the landscape and it's kind of sticking to the top of the landscape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click once and I'm moving my mouse. I haven't clicked again so I can move my mouse and the box starts to appear. Now you don't really have to worry too much if you get this wrong. I'm just going to kind of click it again here to make a reasonably large box and I'm just going to move around that box to show you all the sides to it. And now to manipulate that box even further so this is our selection I can actually if you go if you see I can roll over different areas and there's one area this side of this cuboid has been selected and you can see an orange outline so which means I can move it backwards and forwards I can move the top up and down I can move this side here and if I go around the other side I can grab the other edges of it as well uh, so this is where the Z key comes in because we, we want to move the bottom as well so I can zip underneath it and obviously I'm underneath the ground but this, the box still remains so I'm left clicking these to move them backwards and forwards uh, Q to move myself back up so there we go so I've selected an area let's take the top, whole top of this mountain so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete these blocks here so that's pretty good Let's, let's make it nice and flat like that. Okay, so I've taken this a chunk like that, and I'm gonna. And we've got a little area up here. We've also got nudge as well. So if I press on this, I can actually move the mountain <laughs> and nudge it about. But in actual fact, what I want to do is delete these blocks. So there we go. I've deleted them, and I'll deselect that area, and you can see that that area is now completely gone, revealing a, a kind of cross section of what was below it. That's quite cool. So that's one thing we can do. We can cut. We can also copy and paste. So let's take uh, let's take what's down here? Some swampy area. Oh, well let's take this area down here. Let's just take this for example. So I'm just selecting an area lifting up, uh, zipping down, pressing Z to go down, making sure we've, we've got a reasonable amount there. And I'm going to just copy this. So all those chunks have been copied and we can see a little thumbnail of that copy just in the top right hand corner. And it gives us a delete or save and we'll come back to that in just a moment. But at the moment we're going to just paste it back into this area up here. So I'm going to say uh, paste and we've got a kind of green selection here and it's like it's bobbing up and down and then out. It's trying to guess where I want to put it. But and actually I'm just going to click here and rearrange it. So it hasn't imported it yet, it's just placed it. And I can kind of just take a little look to see. That's pretty good. Now I've got some more options now before I can finally click the import button. Uh, so I can rotate it and you rotate it around an area. We can even, in fact, roll it so it's up on its end. So this is how people have made kind of cubes of Minecraft worlds, okay, three-dimensional cubes, and they've, they've taken some trees. And what it's done is it's, it's literally flipped these trees around. Uh, we can mirror it, so it mirrors itself on the other side. Um, uh, and we can roll it etc etc <clears throat> we've also got this thing called nudge and if you click and hold nudge then you, I can now use my A uh, D S W keys to move this around in three dimensional space so rather than myself moving I'm moving the object and I can use Z to descend it and Q to ascend it within that 3D space as well and I'm going to put it about there and when I'm ready, I can say either copy air or copy water as well. So you've got these options as well. And this is useful for, say, um, say you've copied some ocean, but you don't want to copy the ocean. Well, you can d delete that, for example. And I've got a little bit of water on the edge there. And I can just press import and deselect that. And you can see it hasn't selected, it hasn't copied the water over, which is kind of useful because I'd be making a horrible mess everywhere <laughs> if I had done that. Uh, so that's one of the way then one of the things we can do uh, which is rather cool uh, and another thing uh, we've also got these things called oh well let's do import let's import something so with import you can uh, go onto some web sites and I'll list a few websites in the description below uh, my favorite is um, uh, MC schematics 
and you have to sort of sign up to be able to get had to the forums and to be able to download those uh, different schematics and the schematic really is a saved portion of a world so say someone's made a brilliant building in MC Edit, we could select that building and copy it and we could save it so actually in fact we could save up here so this bit of dirt up here we could press save and we actually save it as a schematic so I'm going to save it as um, uh, la bit a bit of land, I'm going to call it bit of land, okay, and save it, and we'll save it as it will be bit of land dot schematic. So this schematic file is a file that saves chunks of bits of Minecraft, if you like, to so save. So what that means is we can download and upload bits of Minecraft that other people have made. So if we can press import, we can, and you can see this is all my is my folder full of bits of stuff, there's my bit of land, there's a volcano, there's a thunderbird, there's a pirate ship, uh, let's go to, there's a bakery, let's open this, so there's a bakery, uh, I'm going to just pop it here, and again, uh, I've intersected it a little bit, so I'm going to press nudge, and move it forward, and move it sideways a bit, and of course I might want to be building a town, so, uh, you know, so flattening out an area was, would have been really useful. So, obviously, you know, taking the top of this mounting off was an example of that. Uh, I'm going to press import, and there it is. Okay. Now, don't forget to save. Once we save things, it, uh, it also lights the chunks as well, so things look a bit nicer. And deselect that. So we can kind of see this lovely house that we've, uh, this bakery that we've just imported, and of course we can import anything and everything that people have made. So let's import something else. A big Atat Walker from Star Wars. Let's put you here, import you there. Okay, and you can have like, tons of fun with this and be as creative as you want to be. Um, and also, let's uh, we can let's copy it and paste another attack walker so we're going to be attacked by loads of attack walkers um, let's nudge it up a bit, it's a bit low that's ace okay great and import that so those are some things, so again we've been able to select our chunks, we've been able to delete blocks we can delete entities and I'll go into a bit more of this kind of um, uh, entities are things like animals and stuff. We can analyze what's in a block so we can kind of make a selection and press analyze and it tells us what's in that area. So we've got some air, we've got some stone, we've got some grass, gravel and coal. We can obviously save that to a file as well. And we can do the usual things you can do with computers which is cut, copy, paste and we can export. Now export makes it, turns it into, as it says there, a schematic file but we want to have actually made something that's quite interesting. So this is good if you've got some worlds and you're really proud of bits and pieces of the world, but you think, in actual fact, I'd love to transfer that building that I made there into this uh, seed of another bit of another world I've made here. And MC Edit is probably the thing that's going to be able to do that for you. So finally, I want to show you a couple of other things. Uh, one of the things uh, you saw before, which was the filters, uh, and if you saw my um, Minecraft mazes um, 101 idea and uh, then you'll be able to see that uh, filters are really important really good for transforming or generating uh, computer generated objects within minecraft uh, so for example we could make a selection go down to filters and we've got things like banner slimes change more properties chunk surface repair classic water flood we've got color wires and i'll go into the, some of these things uh, we've got something like um smooth uh, and filter and that will literally smooth an area out we've got let's let's lift this up Oops. press escape I need to just make a selection first make my selection quite big so here's a good one um, press the filter and these filters come with MC edit uh, so let's do not do smooth let's do oh, where is it Forester so tree count, let's do something like 10. Tree height, let's do something like 25. Um, we're going to have it out of wood, out of leaves. Could we have it out of anything? 
let's do it out of magenta wool <laughs> and have leaves have uh, leaves as um, something weird brick okay plant on grass that'd be fine and press filter and this is a procedurally generated uh, <laughs> oh my god look at that procedurally generated filter so let's press escape deselect there we can see this wild and wonderful press save so it lights these blocks this wild and wonderful new terrain that we're creating out of kind of bizarre materials so this is kind of created procedurally generated trees out of purple wool and stone brick which is quite good and there are loads of different filters you can get um, <clears throat> one of the easiest ways of adding filters is you can go to there are three websites three main websites that I think you'll find uh, filters from uh, one is from Adrian Brightmore uh, one is from Seth Bling and the other one is from Texel Elf so those are the three ones and I'll put links of those in the description below so you can go and visit them and the easiest way to import is to get these new filters is to go to filter oh, let's just make a selection go to filter and <clears throat> click on this thing here and it says open the filters folder so if you click on there on a Mac it opens up my filters folder here and we can basically drag and drop the Python script because they are written in Python uh, Python the script straight into here and that that will basically do it okay that adds your filter to it what you'll have to do then is to restart MC edit to make sure that the filter has been applied and uh, Bob's your uncle that's how you do it so let's go and have a look at the world that we've just edited in MC edit and I'll just double click here and we'll, we'll pop ourselves in <coughs> oh sorry cows <laughs> they all it all fell from above. Our sheep seem to be okay, or maybe sheep are on this uh, on this anyway. So they've just they're like, what is going on? It's all changed here. But as you can see, uh, here we are. Here's all my stuff. So this is the mountain that we that we changed. This is the bakery that we spawned in. Oh, delicious! There's a cake being baked over there. It's great. Uh, let's close these doors. Keep it neat and tidy. Um, <laughs> There's the attack walkers in the distance. What's that down there? Oh, a little kitten. Oh, scared the kitten. So there's the attack walkers. Are nice. And these are the strange, crazy trees that uh, we procedurally generated with this script. Um, uh, a script called the Forester. <laughs> They're kind of strange, but magical as well. So sort of strange purple and brick uh, tree trees. <laughs> Uh, and these are because they're procedurally generated. They're not like normal Minecraft trees. They they kind of they have branches, and you can see the branches coming up there. And they also have roots as well. So this stuff penetrates into the earth as well, which is quite interesting. So I hope I've inspired you to make your own magical Minecraft worlds, where you can actually import different types of things, procedurally generate magical forests, and uh, create whole complicated towns and different kind of maps that you and your friends can play together. Thank you.